Well, Magic Community, did the thumbnail get you? Did it? Did you click because it's an upside down booster box when I uploaded it to uh, to YouTube? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm being a goofball and I just wanted to see what would happen uh, uploading an upside down image. Did you actually click it because the image was upside down? If you did, let me know. I'm actually very curious. Uh, anyway, let's rip in. This is number six, so the final box of a case. Let's see what we can get in this box. All right, so we'll toss the box over here to the side. Let's get into this. We're going to make this very, very quick. I mean, this is going to be the game of how quick can we get through the box, minus, of course, hitting anything crazy, and we'll have to stop to just, you know, scream inside. All right, so getting right on Uncommon's land. Ooh, Chandra, Hope's Beacon, starting off with a Mythic, pretty strong. Progenitor Exarch, a Elspeth Talent, Rona, Shieldred's Faithful, Get my pile over here going. Igna Rune Eyes, Blood Feather Phoenix, and Kiara Kakira, the Orphan Guard. All right, so putting that up there in that Multiverse Legend slot. Let's bring these down here. We'll put up the non foils up top, and we'll bring on the foils down so that you can see them uh, a little bit better on camera. <clears throat> And we maybe we'll put the multiverse legend slot right there and put the non foils here since there seems to be light glare. A little bit of a different layout this time. Somebody mentioned in my last video that they uh, like to be able to have some of the cards down here so that when I'm opening, they can kind of see some of those as uh, they go through the video or read them again. Um, so, anyway, all right, let's see. Like I said, we're looking at speed here. All right, Zephyr Singer. Grafted Butcher, Mist Meadow Vanisher, Daxos, Blessed by the Sun, Dina, Fire Main Commando Foil, Extended Art, and an Obosh the Prey Piercer in Etched Foil for that Multiverse Legends slot. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's mix and match. Sides here usually go down one side of the box. Okay, there's an invasion there, looks like. Boom. Mountain Urbrask. Flipping into the great work there on that foil. All right, so there is another foil mythic we're hitting. Guardian of Girapur, Cutthroat Negotiator, Rayav Mastersmith, Raph Weatherlight Stalwart Halo Foil, Adrana Inland Vala Foil, and a Yorion of the Sky Nomad. Normal foiling there for that Multiverse Legends slot. All right. Pack number, what is this? Three, four, four. Okay. How can we tell? Because of the number that we have that we've already opened of the Multiverse Legends. There's that swamp art I was talking about in one of my previous videos. Love that. That is uh, my favorite art in the basic lands next to the plains here that has the foil floating cities. All right, Invasion of Alara <clears throat> flips into Awaken the Maelstrom, which is a brutal sorcery if you get to pull this off. Of course, five-color uh, battle there, or siege. All right, Transcendent Message. A Path of the Pyromancer, Tetsuko, Umazawa, Quindi... Rona, Herald of Invasion, and a Brutaclad Telcor Engineer normal foil. So no Halo foiling there, which is fine because we already opened a Halo foiling of Brutaclad. So I would uh, much prefer to open something different. Searching for that Ragavan, of course. Still have yet to open a Ragavan. All right. Don't know how many boxes you have to go through to statistically open one. And we haven't even hit a normal foil or a non-foil or anything. So, all right, there's that swamp art again. A bloated processor. Let's see what we're doing here. Are we doing special showcase foils up here? This is crazy. Crazy how they have all these cards. Ren and a Realm Breaker. That's a good one to hit. <clears throat> very good. Very, 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 very good. All right. Blight Titan. Very, 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 very good. Zadra, Zada Hedron Grinder. Rada, Ancient Imperious Sore, and 
Imori the Collector. All right. And then we will... There are so many piles of stuff going on here. Yeah, Rin and Realm Breaker, I guess, will go down there in the borderless pile. We'll sort everything later. <clears throat> All right. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see. Like I said, the goal was to make this a quicker video, quicker. Give me a second. I'm putting piles off over to the side here, guys. All right. So we'll see if we can make it just a little quicker for you guys than the normal pack video. Normally, my videos take about 20 to 25 minutes for a collector box, but we're going to see if we can beat that time. We are uh, about five minutes in at the moment. Into the fire. Mirror Style Master. Dina Soul Steeper. Finn the Fang Bear. Thalia and the Gitrog Monster in foil. This is the one you want to hit in showcase frame because this one is, uh, I think... The most expensive card in the actual set. I have to double check, see if things have changed, but that one's definitely a, a oh, oh, I got excited for a minute. I thought I was hitting a Ragavan. Turns out it's a Shram Senior Edificer. Uh, you know, it's still cool because I love that style of the border that they use for um, the Kaladesh Invention art, but not what I expected. Uh, just caught me off guard and I was I got excited for Ragavan, but I'm excited for Thali and the Gitrog Monster. Very, very nice as well. Let's get to what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six. We're halfway through the box. Halfway through the box. It's taking about a minute a pack, it looks like, to get through. All right. There's the invasion. Island. Voldaren Thrill Seeker. Igna and Essica. All right. Let's see. This is going to go Locked Dwayne Lancer. I guess this goes, do I have a non-foil pile for, no, nah, I don't know, whatever, we'll figure out piles later. Persia, Judge of Valor, Aegar, the Freezing Flame, Quintorius Allure Master in that showcase foil, very nice, and a Judith the Scourge Diva, normal foiling there for that slot, so. Uh, five packs left. Still have a chance at a Ragavan in the same box. Would be nice to see Ragavan make an appearance for sure. I'll even take him in the etched foil version. Um, just opening a Ragavan in general. There is Plains, Kogla, and Yadaro in the normal foil there. Very dark art and very hard to see. Indeed, gosh, you can't make out almost anything in that, in that art. Dusk Legion Duelist. Moira and Tashar. This is one of the commander cards. Quindy, Pride of Fimereth. Raph, Weatherlight. Stalwart. C Double. Very nice extended art to open. And a Brawl, Chief of Compliance, Halo Foil. Is that Halo Foil? It is. You can barely see it, but it is, in fact, Halo Foil. Also got excited for a minute because I thought it was a raggy, a little ragavan. You can see the halo foiling right here. This one's a little harder to see on this particular art, but it does make the border pop more on this card, which is very nice. I love the border on the uh, masterpiece style art for Kaladesh. Very nice. Baral, indeed. <clears throat> now we just need the monkey to make his appearance. And uh, that'll make my day. I'll be happy. Or really, any serialized card. Preferably one of the Praetors for that unique art style. Um, all right. So, here we go. Here we go. Swamp. Doom Scar Warrior. Another Doom Scar Warrior. A Begin the Invasion Mythic. Imani. Valda. Keeper of Flame. Halo Foil. Moira and Tashar. Foil. Extended Art Mythic. And... An Afinza Kintree Spirit. So three packs left. Still have chances. Still have several chances here to hit something really spicy. Uh, or still get a serialized card. If not, it'll be a case with no serialized card, which is fine. All right. I think this is, yeah, this is it. It should be the last box. Unless I miscounted my boxes. Pretty sure this is box number six. All right. Invasion of Belnon. There is Invasion of Kaldheim, which flips into Pyre of the World Tree. All right. Errant and Giada. Path of the Schemer. 
Shauna, Valduck, Boon Bringer Valkyrie, Backup Flying First Strike Life Link. Oh, it's a fantastic angel. This card is also a beast if you play with it in a draft or a sealed pool. And we have a Zidar, uh, Zerda the Dawn Waker. Very nice, very nice. So Zerda goes up here, Valkyrie goes down here, treasure token off to the side. All right. <clears throat> Two packs left, guys. Two packs left. It's getting down to the final packs to be able to bring that magic to the table. And then, of course, we'll talk about the giveaway at the end of the video. All right. Chrome Host Seed Shark. A little bit of flying shark action there going on. Realm Breaker. The Invasion Tree. Nesting Dove Hawk. Oh, that's a really pretty picture of a bird. I love that. Valdeck Keeper of the Flame. Rona. Elish Norn. That's nice. Wow. Let's see what the next card is. Judith the Scourge Diva Halo Foil. Elish flips into the Argent Etchings. And this is the showcase version. Looking pretty hot and spicy. I don't see any real damage. I saw a little bit of a surface scuff. I was trying to wipe clean there. Very nice. Very nice on that art. I love it. I love it. So probably. Yeah, it was a little bit of. Uh, I'll worry about that later off camera. Let me go ahead and sleeve Elish Norn there. There is mom herself card that everybody wants. Very good value here in this box. Uh, all right. Well, that was a second to last pack magic. Uh, chances of getting a. Uh, serialized card in this pack, less than 1%. Still could happen. Would be incredible. Would be incredible to see a serialized Elish Norn. I would uh, drop the mic. I would literally take the mic off the stand and drop it down. Um, would I, though? I don't know. I might. All right. Let's just... Uh, Vivian's talent. Let's just see what's back there. Polychronos Reborn. Sandstep War Riders. Renata... Uh, Ferja, Judge of Valor, Igna, and Essica. All right, guys, this is it. This is the last chance to see a double rainbow foil. It is, in fact, a mythic. It is a 2-1. It is a Ragavan Nimble Pilferer. This is not the serialized version. However, however, this is what we were talking about opening this is what we were talking about would make the icing on the cake to this box. So this is, in fact, last pack magic. Not the Halo foil, but still, nonetheless, a gorgeous foil of Ragavan, Nimble Pilfer, in that Kaladesh invention-style art or frame. Wow, what a way to end the box. That's not bad. You know, no serialized box in the case of six. But uh, let me make sure I got my math right here. Um... Yeah, that was it, guys. That was the last box from a case of six. So, uh, you want to see me more? You want to see me open more of these on the channel? Let me know. Please comment down below and let me know you want to see more March of the Machine open. Do you want packs for purpose to see if we can hit a serialized card? I will go out and buy some more and we will open. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, check the link in the description below. There will be a giveaway here and there. I will probably not have this video uploaded in time for the March of the Machine Commander Deck uh, choice giveaway. We will do a different giveaway. I'm not sure what that'll be, but as always, it's linked below. It will be whatever the giveaway is, uh, so I'm sure it'll be exciting. Uh, I'll stop rambling, and you guys, thank you guys. Yeah, thanks so much for joining me. It is Jason with Packs for Purpose, Love, Peace, and Chicken Grease signing out. Till next time.